how it is. Too many riffs to memorize, yes. It really, uh, it took me two days to kind of, you know, things to start to get back. You know, two days, well, two rehearsals. What two. have you been working on? I've been working on, uh, you know, the ones that are the difficult ones for me, the Hangar 18. Yeah. The so all the solos, I was getting confused. Uh -oh. Playing the second one instead of mm -hmm. the first one. <laughs> yeah. Now, now I, I think it's good. It's gonna be okay for the tour, yeah, for sure. So he's, he's selling some pickups here. Look, this amount of pickups. I have only three, man. The only cool people are three. Only the real metalheads. You know the secret, right? But it's played like this.
out step by step doing that that squatting kind of weird yeah, yeah that's probably one Come a little farther. Yeah. You gotta come a little farther. And then squat. 
We're going to need a, 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 a line on the stage for him to know where to go. We're going to put some tape down the stage for you to walk out to. Uh, let's put a marker down just for now, anyway, so he knows. Whenever he first comes out and does his big stretch. Yeah, because we don't want him to, you know what'll happen? He'll be so fucking amped of what's going to happen his first time doing this. He's going to go out there and probably have a heart attack. But he comes out a little bit, he's going to stand up and either whack his head or he'll break his arm on the edge of that drum riser. And I don't want that to happen. I want him to sure. be out here, and then he can stand up yeah. and do whatever he wants to do. It was my concern about things right here. I didn't know this thing. And the laser coming off, and uh, obviously, I have to come to him, right? Unless he has a laser in his blood or something. Let's just do that. We'd have to get out there. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. But you were doing the uh, hard of hearing clap. <laughs> I thought you said clap, 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 clap. <laughs> no, but I'm going to do this here. <laughs> no, uh, no, no. Moonwalk now. Moonwalk. Moonwalk. That's why I don't like it's getting fired. Make sure it's just a roll. Did you do this before? Yeah, Samba now. Samba? Yeah? Samba? Salsa? Whoa! That's what you used to do. Okay, so so when he starts touching the guitar, that's when the value stops and and all the lights go to stage right where Rafi is. Okay, so now you start doing the song. Song is playing. And what will be really cool is at that point when we go bum 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 bum. That's when the doors underneath the drum riser pulsate. Right?
So let me show you the light of a friend here, Ruben, right? What's, What's up, going on? So who are you? My name is Ruben. Ruben. I am the lighting director for the show. Okay, so show me what's happening here. Were you saying? It looks any? like a, you're creating your own video game, right? Yeah, Stuff pretty like much. That. It's a uh, similar technology to video games where we are able to recreate the whole stage and pretty much simulate everything that's going to happen on stage with like the lights and uh, pretty much everything else. So I have the stage there. And now the simulation here. Correct. So we have everything, all of our lights that we're using on the stage, and just like uh, just like how you guys set up your studio sessions to record music, we are recording all the lights and all the video, so that you know when we get to the shows, everything's already ready to go, and we can have a badass show. Oh yeah. So basically, most of the things are programmed, and then you just fine tune during the show. Yeah, correct. kind of. Yeah, yeah, similarly, just like you guys rehearse, I'm rehearsing my lighting and my video with you guys I see. to make sure that we have a really tight show. Yeah. So show me, like, you have scenes. Yes, sir. This is like fancy. It yeah, looks like we band can, logos. Yeah, it's an kind old of. feature for this console is that we're able to like scribble to ah, label okay. things. Like, for example, if you wanted to like label like this cue right here i can just like tape i can say cue number two for example and i can visually I see, see that quickly Got yeah it. uh let's see let's go. good so this is one scene oh here is the the, the show correct right? so these are all the different yeah. timelines where we have all the cues all the moments during the show happen here um mm. and i can switch from song to song just having all the different all the different pages uh, basically one song per page and we are able to simulate and run uh, the entire thing so for example let's look here p sales starts with that big hit and then it's there you can watch the and let me unlink that this will start playing we don't have that good running right now okay well anyways we're saving it. We're saving it for the show. Yes, Big yeah, surprise. yeah. Secret. Yeah. Da, surprise. Da. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Thanks, Ruben. Thank you, Kiko. All right. Thank you. That was it. We just finished the last day of rehearsal. It was uh, six days here in Nashville, rehearsing every day in this amazing room here. And uh, now the guys are, you know, putting everything together here to load the trucks. And we're going to Texas tonight. Yes. I'll see you in the next video and uh, hopefully I will have the time to do many and many vlogs for you guys. Bye. This is beautiful, Steve Haybowen Memorial.